ARENA is a network focused on Arctic renewable energy systems across the whole circumpolar Arctic regions, including Alaska, Canada, Greenland, Iceland. And so as someone who works on on remote um, renewable energy projects in Canada, I was really excited to see this program and I uh, was really excited to join and be able to learn from others, share some of my learnings and stories from, from Northern, from Nunavut in Canada, and be able to connect with others in this space. In a technical spirit or manner, it's, it's a cohort that's networking together and meeting um, people from all across the Circumpolar um, working together to advance um, clean energy and alternative projects, but it's so much more than that as well. Um, it's, in my mind, it's becoming a bit of a family and I think one that um, we're all going to want to keep in touch with each other and what's really interesting is it's not just this cohort and people that we've met that we're kind of growing as a family but the previous cohort and those to come so it's just becoming a really large, uh, large family. Well, my name is Brendan Maro. I come from uh, Jatikwe, Fort Providence, Northwest Territories. Yeah, my background is mostly in t um, forestry management. <laughs> So I got into the energy business working with the uh, community energy plan. The work that I'm doing, um, it's basically community engagements right now. What, I, what I've learned during the um, three on-sites is that there's projects out there that, that are doable in each community. So, so right now I'm self-employed and our, a lot of our focus is uh, doing uh, renovations, retrofits, and uh, developing some pr uh, project for one of our communities back home, which is 100% diesel. And we're working with our utilities to find out some solutions and um, what's gonna work best and how uh, we make sure it works properly. I think we selected a project w which would include solar and battery storage, which would be a high penetration, so that way we can uh, replace a lot of that diesel that they're using throughout the year. Yeah, in the RENA program, we uh, checked out the solar and battery storage out in Old Crow, uh, Yukon, which is really interesting. And, and I think that we're aiming for something similar to that. So uh, I found that really interesting and, and the agreements they made with their utility and how they kind of worked as a, a team together and put that project together was really, uh, really uh, informational for us. Something I can take back on. My name is Cindy Baldwin. I'm from McGrath, Alaska. Um, I currently live in Anchorage and work for Alaska Native Tribal Health Consortium. ARENA has been such an amazing program for um, not only meeting people that are in the same field of work, um, that are facing a lot of the same challenges, especially with like the barge systems, um, talking to the, the, some of the cohort that's from Canada, they, they come to a lot of the same issues with tribal governments and um, national governments and the same issues with grant requirements and material shipping and to find out ways that they've um, found around this and then meeting all the presenters that arenas provided and the trainings has been amazing. I do have a background in renewable energy development, so I wasn't too sure how this is going to necessarily be applicable to the work that I'm doing. Um, but certainly being able to see successful projects in remote communities, that alone is so inspiring. And then we can kind of take that into the work that we're trying to do in, in Nunavut right now. So uh, going and seeing those turbines up in, in Kotzebue and seeing the successes that Iceland has felt as a result of achieving some of those affordable energy and clean energy goals that they have and then coming here to the Yukon and, and seeing Old Crow and that that successful project and talking to utilities across the north in Canada and understanding their perspectives in renewable energy and integrating renewable energy and indigenous owned renewable energy into existing microgrids that's been fantastic. was recommended by Anama Shannon, who had been a previous cohort from the first program. And um, we had taken on the renewable energy efforts for my tribe. I think being able to see cold climate communities really utilize their resources for uh, energy generation 
And I feel like that is exactly the route that my community is taking. Meeting everyone, the widespread diversity, um, but really the same. And uh, definitely makes me feel more human. And it's been so insightful having conversations with everyone when we're being shuffled around. Um, <laughs> and being able to talk energy and it just feels like home because I don't the energy community and small rural communities uh, such as mine is you don't find those conversations easy. Well my hope is that um, you know people do um, accept uh, renewable energy um, and um, like they they learn about the the benefits you know I, I find it my kind of my responsibility to um, pass that information on. It will make a, a huge difference for us, you know, in our, in our daily lives. Just using fossil fuels is so normal for us um, that it might take a little bit of time to uh, convince people that there's other ways. So I, that's what I'm hoping that, you know, there's a solar panel on every cabin, you know, the, uh, in Rankin and the Kivalit, or Nunavut, really. Yeah, coming from a small community, <clears throat> we're, we're stuck in the old school ways and just seeing these other projects and the other cohorts, what their projects are, is really, really bringing, I guess, the capacity in my mind that, that if they can do it, we can do it too.